Quarterback profile brought to you by Burger King. Well, Andy Dalton's the active wins leader and quarterbacks in the country right now with 38. He's very mobile, can extend plays with his feet. Gun. Play action pass. They throw near sideline in the seam, and the ball is taken by Curley. Dalton stands up in that pocket, five-step drop, fires the strike, and sliding in safe is Sky Dawson at the 44-yard line, a pickup of 24 yards. Sky Dawson's one of the speediest players on the team, but look at Andy Dalton eating sandwiches back there. If that offensive line can hold out that number six ranked Utah defense that has 23 sacks on the year. To do that on third down and short, Wesley, little pause, and that small hesitation allowed the hole to open, and the Horn Frogs move it to the 29 yard line. On third down, there's a pump, got single coverage going up top. Touchdown, TCU! Josh Boyce from 26 yards out. Been a breath of fresh air. He's really been coming on. He's locked in one-on-one -on -one coverage with a great defender. Drive, shotgun is Dalton. Stands, pressure from behind, throws. This time it's caught right on the button. And out of bounds around the 44-yard line, Jimmy Young. Shotgun, Dalton, Wesley alongside. Dalton, good protection again. On a rope, he goes one side to the other. The chop down at the 50-yard line is causing some problems for Gordon Wynn. Near side, drop, Jeremy Brooks. And bring on the punting unit for Utah. And they usually pass the ball on first down. Dalton on the rollout, play action, up top! He had man coverage, a breaking attack of his boys! He's up and running! 15, 10, 5, touchdown! Ninety-three yards! And you fans are shocked. Staff, they said we can't afford to give up the big plays. You're absolutely right. TCU's favorite down to throw is on first down off of that run game. And Brandon Burton, one of the best tacklers in physical lockdown corner that we talked about, got smoked. And had a burst of speed. Everything you want to be able to do, you see Andy Dalton there four-year senior this is the advantage that you have to be able to immediately take the crowd out of the game and it's that experience and leadership the Horn Frogs are going to be counting and it's a big third down for Utah down 14 Jordan steps up in the pocket has room to run watch out back side ball is out Yendry DJ Yendry picks up the loose ball and Jordan Wynn never felt the backside pressure. That's how he steps up, but right now, you can't pump fake two or three times. It has to become the scramble drill. The deep receivers come shallow, the shallow receivers go deep, and everybody in the middle track the quarterback. Utah is in danger of letting this game slip away. Curley is throwing the football. Touchdown, bag of tricks to Mark Johnson! Curley... Throws the touchdown, 26 yards. Playmaker lines up in the wild frog. Something that they ran a little bit last year, haven't shown much of this year, and throw to a very dependable Bart Johnson, who gets his first catch of the game for the touchdown. For yards on first down, that 93-yard touchdown skews that a bit, but they continue to pass. Curley is chased out of bounds, and they will mark cuts to the near side. Quick throw right on the hands, Wesley. They put him into man to man. Block, you got something going offensively. Play action passes. Dalton rolls to his right. Throws, fires, connects. And unable to jump out of the tackle is Bart Johnson. Behind Dalton on first and ten. On a string, right on the hands of Boyce. Seventh play of this drive. They throw it outside, another missed tackle, Curley, with a stutter step, and he's out of bounds at the 15-yard line. Chandler, 10 minutes to play, second quarter, Dalton on the run. Is he going to pitch? No, he tucks and runs. And the 6'3", 220-pound senior rumbles down to the 12-yard line. Black. Keeper, pitch, cut back, spin out, and inside the 10 to the 6-yard line. Job so far getting up field. This will be a 24-yard kick. A chip shot is up and good. He's perfect 
seven for seven on the year by 23. And the third quarter's underway here in Salt Lake City. Good deep kick. Shaky Smith is going to bring it out. Takes it straight up the field. Little stutter step. Has a room. And still on his feet. Shaky shaking out of tackles. Still on his feet to the 46 yard line. Shotgun Jordan Wynn. Pressure from the corner. Stands up in that pocket. Took a hit. Picked. It's picked off. Tanner Brock has a clear route to the end zone, inside the five. John Cullen, the left tackle, take this opening drive and punch one in. Outside and walking in for a touchdown, my goodness. Wesley, untouched. And TCU with a PAT to come. Can open up a 30-point lead on the road. Second here of the second half from the 20-yard line. Slink shot it. There's a pitch and a catch. And the ball is out. My goodness. Devante. Jason Teague punts that ball away. And TCU will get it right back. There's no question. Just great job by uh, Jordan Wynn getting the ball out. But... The B is right there. Jason T comes back and punches the ball out. A great heads up job by Alex B. recovering the fumble. This is something that Utah did such a good job last week. Huggins alongside the third string tailback. He follows the pile. Push, push to the 31. Back in with Shivers. Play action on the rollout. Right on the button. Logan Brock, the tight end. So just when you've stacked the box, you go play action and boot one out to the tight end and pick up 24. 27 yard line. Dalton again, terrific protection to the flat he goes. Six and nine on third down conversions for TCU. Dalton to the end zone. Did he have possession? Touchdown! Jimmy Young bobbled, got the feet down. And TCU running away from Utah. Double move. You see him from the number one position and then gets vertical, gets behind the linebacker. Chaz Walker does a good job. Dalton stands up in the pocket. Got a man and a catch. Was he in bounds? Jimmy Young. They will say complete at the 25-yard line. Young was able to hang on. You live by the blitz, you die by the blitz. They brought some weak side pressure there, putting Jimmy Young one-on-one -on -one with Brian Blacken on the corner route. Does a good job. The ball's thrown inside and behind him. But look at those numbers. Outstanding by the four-year starter. Calls for the snap from the shotgun. He's been protected all day. Man coverage on the outside. And that ball is delivered where it has to be. On his outside shoulder. And Jimmy Young with another catch. Hit and knocked down by Conroy Black. Their squad on that last one. 24-yard kick by Ross Evans. Hit one in the second quarter. And boots one through here in the fourth. And it's a 40-point lead. On third down conversions. They pick up a first, watch out. Nearly breaking away for six was Asiata and fresh downs. Little play action, good protection over the top, right on the button. Moyai, the tight end, number 81. Boy, wide open over this full of Asiatas. Play action, Jordan Wynn steps up, throws far side. Makes the catch, second effort, close. Touchdown, Utah! Boss on the field, and they proved themselves repeatedly. Jordan Wynn wants the deep ball. He's got man coverage downfield. That ball hung up finally, and it's picked off by Greg McCoy. Well, in that film session last night, one of the things that Gary... Monumental. TCU still taking it at Utah. And Jeremy Curley... You know, he's been curtailed much of the day. Tucker, the back. Head to the near sideline. A couple of stiff arms. And finally chopped down to the 26. Dalton, absolutely near perfect. A career high in passing yards. And Paul Hall, Casey Paul Hall, the redshirt freshman, recruited by Florida and Notre Dame, will get some snaps here down the stretch. 
at San Diego State, then you finish up at home against Brigham Young. Yeah, but you can also make the argument that they played against Iowa State and dominated them. And look at that. The ball is fumbled and a touchdown. Wayman James, right place, right time. Paul Hall lost it. Utah overran the ball. Final seconds ticking away. TCU, Aaron, will win their 23rd straight regular season game. And maybe the most impressive part, they're going to win their 10th straight on the road. And the third longest home winning streak is going to come to an end. Utah had won 21 in a row, third only to Oklahoma and Boise State. And our LG player of the game, Andy Dalton, head down, 21, hands down, 21 to 26. 355 yards passing against this Utah secondary. Three touchdowns on the day, did not make a mistake. He was absolutely exceptional. They knew coming in, he had to be able to manage the ball game. He did that flawlessly and walks away with the win. Coach, you asked Andy Dalton, just manage the game. Safe to say he did it. What impressed you most about him today? Well, this is what we've been preparing for, you know, four or five years. He's been in these kind of games, and today he came through, he played unbelievable. That's what a senior quarterback's supposed to do in these kind of games. Andy, coach told us before the game, he just needed you to manage the game. Um, you did. 350 yards passing, a career high for you. Where does this game rank personally for you? Yeah, it was one of the best games that I've ever been a part of. Uh, you know, to see all the preparation that we did this week and to see it all pay off in the end was, uh, you know, it's, uh, it feels really good. Coach said to us, yeah, this was a bit of a statement game. Would you agree? I would agree. Uh, you know, we're playing a great team in Utah. Utah's still a great team. You know, they uh, rank number five in the BCS. They wouldn't get there if uh, they weren't they weren't good. So uh, that was a statement game for us, and we came out and played really well. So much hype for this matchup. People will be surprised when they see the final score. What do you say to them? Uh, I mean, we came out and played our game. I thought we had to show a lot of people uh, what we're capable of doing. I think we did that tonight. A couple big games coming up. They're very important. How do you prepare? You know, the same way we did this week. You know, go out, watch a lot of film, get ready for them. You got a nice little group of fans up there in Hawaii. You going to go say hello to them, celebrate a little? I love it. You know, to see the following that we have here was unbelievable, and it was a great win for us. But a victory, a victory yell, 47-7 on the road at Utah.